How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Primal Light. This is a sponsored video brought to you by the developers of Primal Light and Indie Boost. It is a old school 90s era 2D platformer. You play as this weird blue dude, Korg, I'm pretty sure. And you just hop and bop around in your rad loincloth and try to not die. <laughs> For those who want an easier time to start with more lives, for those who want the intended experience, and for those who like a challenge, less lives, harder bosses. I'll go normal, I just like showing off what the distinction is between the difficulties, in case people would like to calibrate. Immediately, I like the color palette. One night tragedy befell the peaceful village. Like that... <laughs> I guess I guess I probably am a sucker for that type of greeny blue because I use it for two left thumbs branding stuff. Orange is my second favorite color, possibly my favorite. It was just kind of taken by the game grumps, you know, taken at large. But that was it. The, we, we had a village, one line of dialogue, it got mangled. Sorry, but I, I guess this guy's on our side. <laughs> I really don't have much of a neck, do I? Oh, Krog, I am mortally wounded. We are cursed by an ancient god. But you know the tales of our people. Twelve artifacts lay scattered around these lands guarded by traps and dangerous monsters. If you find them, you just might be able to avenge the crimes against our tribe. <laughs> I mean, there's like piles of skulls directly behind my feet here. The, the artifacts I'm sure would be good to have back. It might count as a little bit of a vengeance, but I don't think it's bringing anyone back. Does it seem like my knees are really shifted forward? Like it's a, he's leaning back a lot in this stance. I guess he's top heavy with those big shoulders. <laughs> Save our people from this curse. Good luck, Krog. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the motivational speech. I'm feeling energized and ready. I already know how to attack. I've been doing it all day. Oh, the skeletons are either these are either other Krog people who died, the skulls on the ground here, or they are skeletons who have been defeated in battle. Ooh, the root rolling is quite smooth. No air rolling. I thought I should check that. And I have three little Healy pouches, now only two. That's a lot of blood for a skeleton. <laughs> Didn't notice that on the initial. Well, get back here. Can't, can't give up a single coin if we're gonna rebuild our village. I just instinctually <laughs> attacked that and I guess it was worth some coinage. Bonfires act as checkpoints. I like the look of that fire pit. It's quite quite cool. Why was I having I, I like can't quite get the, the height to land on it so you gotta go up to that platform. It just looks weird because it looks like I've cleared the platform there. The hitbox, I guess, just isn't quite where I expected it to be. <laughs> Teaching me to attack upwards as if I didn't figure that out instantly with my awesome skills and knowledge. Extra life. Okay, I'm pretty sure those death pits are like instantaneous crap. <laughs> so I'm trying to be cautious of, of that. Trying to stretch out my jump be at the last possible second there try a late jump so like off the edge and then jump oh you can totally like there's some forgiveness but it's not <laughs> it's not as complete as I thought it might be but it seems like you can kind of uh, run off the ledge a little bit it might be easier to experiment okay those aren't instant death I was trying to experiment hit the wrong button late jump yeah that works kind of how I expected. I thought it might be so forgiving that you could jump even beyond. Like that you, you could you could have actually been in a free fall for a second before it, it forced it or stopped it, stopped allowing it. I don't know what coins will be for, but I, I have no shortage of them. Dang it. <laughs> That was terribly done. Thought the timing on that was quite smooth on my part. I can totally attack in the air, so that was just a dud. I should check. This there won't be a life there every time. There's not even 
It won't even open anymore. There's a one-time deal. Leaving the screen makes the enemies come back. A good way to milk coins. Seems like he drops them every time, actually. Oh, come, come now. Get out of my way, crow. Oh, this is gonna be impossible. Oh, I guess I should make better use of the healing if that's gonna recharge every time I die anyways. Maybe at every like checkpoint as well. So I should worry more about about staying alive. You wouldn't think that would be a major concern in, in a game like this, but you, well, who'd, have, who'd have thunk? Living. Important. <laughs> Come on, get out of your little hole. Oh, that's a bastard. All right, I basically, you basically have to land right on it to trigger it. <laughs> Try to attack behind and in front at the same time. Directions. <laughs> they just disappear in the puff of feathers. There's there's just not much to them. They're just kind of in the way. Not the greatest threat. More of an inconvenience than anything. Sick rolls, Korg. I could uh although look at look at this guy's body mass index, his his fat percentage. I don't think there's a single roll on his body. Lean blue fighting machine. The marketing for that's just not nearly as strong, you know. <laughs> Gave it a test. The audiences didn't respond. Ah, I figured his loincloth would grant him new powers. That's clearly the source of my own powers. So it would ma make sense. The skeletons have stolen this from my people and learned to exploit it for themselves. Far out. It's not really a lot of uh, room on that platform for the two of us. God damn it. <laughs> oh, you can jump over the fire though. That's how that's how I escaped that. Alright. Well, I hate these guys. Oh, can they only attack at a range? Is that the secret? I gotta Alright, wait for him to walk to the other side there. Sneak attack. That's it. I just gotta not panic, wig the hell out, and give him the opportunity for a bunch of free shots on me. Instead, go up nice and close for a big old Korg hug. It's like a bear hug, but the guy who performs it is blue and has a, a weird star for a face. Otherwise, pretty much everything you've come to know and expect from a bear hug. No, we killed each other! <sighs> and I had two healy things left too. I was getting ready to bust out a heal. It was too late. Uh, this is so little space between the fire and the monster there. All right, I'm just running straight at you this time. Ah, uh, it's tough because I don't want to jump up into his bone attack, but I also don't want to jump into him. And I've managed to do both quite frequently. Fuck you, guy don't like these skeletons. Go back to being bad at what you do and just regular skeletons who can't do extra attacks like that. I thought I thought maybe I'd experiment with a different route this time. I'm gonna not even gonna try to collect the lantern. I'm just gonna focus on getting out of here. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> um, doesn't really start to be worth the extra life, does it? Alright, timing is key. Just gotta move. I think I collected one of those coins. Oh, shit, but it makes the guys come back. Oh, I tried to roll up to him. Well, I I, I tried and, and aborted that plan altogether when I realized I was going to die if I did that. There's just not a really good way to get up close there. Oh, man, I need a bonfire so badly. More crows coming at me. Ravens. I don't know what they are. I'll die. I'll die if I do that. No! <laughs> uh, Alright, I am I gotta focus on trying to get caught back up to where I left off there. Uh, I can jump the fire. <laughs> kind of forgetting that. I I'm, I'm stopping to appreciate the, the art a little bit more this time around. The animation of running is smooth. The attack works, I guess. 
there's not a ton of like power behind it, but it, it, it communicates effectively, which is the important thing. The backgrounds though, especially that craggly spire on the right hand side and the very back look really, really cool. I think the skeleton look pretty cool. They're, they're neat, I guess. I like their little boots. Even if they are absolutely wrecking me, the physics on that coin went nuts. But like overall, the art looks good. Would there be a new extra life there? Oh, can I... Mm, wouldn't even be able to make it over there to see. So instead, I just gotta... Ah, how do I sneak up on these guys? They just, like, entirely block my attack path. Sneak past the red-eyed bird. Blue bird, red eyes, not dragon. <laughs> you punk! <laughs> Sometimes they just stand there and do their thing and toss their bones. And then sometimes they just run right at you and kind of give you a little belly bump. And even though they don't got any belly to speak of, all the bellies over here on Korg, somehow they come out ahead? Bogus. <laughs> I feel like these eggs are going to be the property of some big boss. Was that a, a proper assumption? But <laughs> Okay, not a big boss, but nevertheless... Oh, come on, that was a good good attempt. Oh! Oh, just them summoning themselves killed me. Shit. Does this mean I'm on my last life? Ah, oh, just die. Or is my last life gonna be my next one? All right, take a heal. Come on. No, no, I landed on top of him. Uh, last one, last life. Not great for me. I now anticipate, understand, they're going to go for the dive bomb. That's their favorite move. It's going to be the first thing they do, like, every time. All right. Try and get it down to just one. Oh, come on. That was a weird angle. I, 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 I uh, The amount of times I, like, jump up into them just by the fraction of a hair there kills me. I mean, it kills me inside, but it also just legitimately kills Korg. And it just sucks. <laughs> All that coin, just gone. Whoa, I could interact with this? I didn't do that before. Hey, hey! <laughs> well, learn something new, I guess. That was the, the cost of my miserable failures. Alright, I'll, I'll meet back up with everyone after I hopefully make it back to this thing with like a, a reasonable number of lives and an, an idea of how to live. The best thing about games like this? Ignore that. Pretend I didn't just do that. I was trying to do a late jump. Gah, that was terrible timing. And literally what I was about to say is the best thing about games like this is that you start familiarizing yourself with the level layouts and the, the enemy attack patterns and you know exactly how to, to dispatch them. But apparently that only gets you so far because sometimes you just chuck yourself into a pit and there's nothing to be done about it. Mm, I'm just, I, I noticed this before and didn't really know what to do about it. And I'm seeing now that I'm probably supposed to be able to break that board or maybe uh, roll into it. I, I could break it. It's a lot of unnecessary damage taken. I thought maybe I would loop back around from the other side. I didn't see that broken board or breakable board. You found the fetish of Enkidu. Press select to view your inventory and equip charms. Boost strength near death. You must be at a bonfire to, to do anything about that. All right, so that, that's not even one of the artifacts from my, my villi. That's just its own own thing entirely. So now, oh, 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 I wonder if I can equip, wait, but there are 12 slots. That might be one of them. That might, that might legitimately be one of the artifacts. So maybe the artifacts are more just about making myself strong than they are using them to save the village in any particular way. Well, I'm glad to have found one, <laughs> at least. I'd be bummed out if my take of my, uh, if I had zero success in all this. Oh, 
I hate that one particular platform more than anything else in this game. It's so hard to get at the skeleton properly. Oh, he's dropping bombs on me from up top. Like, a uh, hammer bro style. Oh god, I'm not being very fast. <laughs> Be better, Korg. Quick. Agile. Alright, try not to activate the coin. What is even the point of going for the extra lives if you're just gonna die doing it? <laughs> I realize they wouldn't want to stick them somewhere super easy. Easy to hit. But these goddamn skeleton boys. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know how I didn't take damage just there. <laughs> he was like standing on top of me. Same with the worm just then. I don't think I like the hitboxes in this game very much. Nothing is quite where I expect it to be. Either I get forgiveness somewhere where I wouldn't expect, or I get hit uh, when I try to take a weird jump. Uh, sometimes even just landing on platforms can be a pain in the ass. Some of that has been uh, a pretty regular source of annoyance. And I'm not not a, a big fan of some of that some people who grew up playing like the old Castlevanias and stuff probably have a little bit more of that forgiveness in them I'm pretty new to this it's not a genre I have a lot of familiarity with and so I'm not used to just getting wrecked like that Maybe that would make the big difference of whether or not you're you're used to it. But man, it's, it's testing me, that's for sure. Alright, now the big one's gonna come, right? Hmm. I'm really anticipating a big guy showing up here. <sighs> Alright, at least this time full health. Three little healing packets. Come on, come on. This is where I get hit the most often, is when I get, like, trapped in those corners there. I, I just thought if I went full aggressive... They do, like, half your health and damage, so that doesn't really do anything for me. Alright, I, I, I want to be able to jump over him. Fuck that! See, that's the shit that sucks. He's flying over me, so I have to jump to hit him. And then I still end up taking damage, like... He should be hovering somewhere just out of reach so that jumping doesn't kill me. Oh boy. Like maybe I can just get him with an upward slash and then that one, when he jumps up like that, that's the upper thing that I have to jump to hit. But my goodness, that was it? That was the all the waves? Oh no. Now these are just a regular enemy all of a sudden? That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Give me a goddamn safe point, please. <sighs> I don't like this. I have no healing left. I'm mostly dead. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. <sighs> that wasn't even a boss. It was just kind of a special encounter. I thought at the end of it, a big dragon would show up. Purchase an extra life? Yes. Yes, I will do that. I'll probably do that multiple times if I uh, keep getting just wailed on so hard. Here's the big dragon. He doesn't look so bad. He looks pretty friendly. Oh, nope, 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 nope. There's the fireballs. The fireballs are starting. The the less friendly part of it. I'd like to learn as... Never mind. <laughs> I obviously was never going to win that particular uh, match. Uh, there's only 20 coins to be to be gained there, so it's not like you're ever gonna freshly afford a new a new life after every attempt or anything like that. Oh god, oh god! I I, I was trying to live long enough to learn this guy's attack patterns the last time. Didn't go so hot. Come on, come on! Extend your big dumb head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that one's hard to predict. That one I, I don't I don't see. That's what I gotta be doing. That's where I'm gonna get the actual damage in. Oh, but now I gotta worry about that. Oh, you bitch! I hate this guy. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> he got your little snoot. Oh. oh, I'm just so boned here. Might as well just spam attacks. <laughs> there's no indication of how much health this thing has. And I'm kind of... Oh, there's more coins to be had. I'm kind of guessing, quite reasonably, <sighs> is that he's going to have, like, an indicator of when he's taken a lot of damage. And that uh, I, I should be able to see some sort of notable uh, damage taken or something. Like, he'll have stages. <sighs> oh, damn it. Ex extended. That's, that's an easy one to take damage during. Is when I'm right up close and he goes for the fireballs. Gotta dodge. Go in my safe little corner and heal up some. Shit. I'm, I might as well just use my other heal as well. This, this started really well. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Achievement! Stage one! And the achievement icon is actually the same as uh, as the little artifact I found. Hell yeah, Johnny Bravo. It's a little bit more, he's got the, <laughs> not quite doing it right. That was just one stage. Oh, but at least this entire game isn't something you start over. You know, I'm not back to the absolute beginning uh, with no hope. I at least have, like, a new beginning now. I'm, maybe I'm going to wish I, I bought more lives. I should have been spending that money after every attempt until I ran out. I figured I would save the money until it was necessary, but now all of a sudden I'm down to, like, pretty few lives. Ah, I didn't make off with... Eh, two out of three. Managed to catch another one on the rebound there. <laughs> Call me... What's his name? <laughs> I just watched the Michael Jordan The Last Dance. The rebound guy, Dennis Rodman. Call me Dennis Rodman. I know so much about basketball. <laughs> clearly, clearly not my thing. Oh, little bug. Will you be more of a nuisance than the dragons? Seems like they just kind of, they just kind of follow you. Not, no... They're slightly more dangerous than the crows, seemingly less dangerous than the, the dragons. Oh. Um, well, that was a bummer that I kind of just slightly missed the timing on that jump. That seems really lame that it would... Uh... Oh, right, I forgot that I killed this guy from below before. I was trying to figure out why I was having difficulty this time. Uh, I kind of wish that it would just rocket you out of there like Mario 64 when he jumps in a lava pit. Because just instant death like that sucks. Especially considering that I was jumping around on these crumbly platforms and shit. I don't even care. I'm not even going to try and break that lantern anymore. Hmm. Perhaps I just kill everyone from down below when that is an opportunity. Seems way safer overall. <laughs> uh, if you're going to present that exploit to me, you know I'm going I'm to I'm milk it. That was a, that was a powerful shove. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be quite so painful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd like to... Oh, I wonder if I... My, I, I didn't see anything happen that indicated it, but I wonder if that kicked in at all during that dragon battle. Like, if I was low enough health when I was just spamming attacks at the end there, that that was part of what... Oh, I don't think I can attack downwards. I wanted to test that before I tried, like, pogoing my way down into, into this pit here. But that might have aided me in polishing off the dragon. Well, I guess that didn't do me much good, did it? <laughs> But I can't have them. No one can. He was going to shove me straight into that lava. I'm not okay with that. Hmm. I haven't really found much for secrets in a while. There was the one that the game very obviously gave me as like a freebie pretty early on sliding down that ladder. And the other one that I, I went and found that artifact in. But now that I haven't found one in a while, I'm realizing I haven't really been looking. And so I don't know if there's anything 
in the level that indicates that they that they're there and I'm I'm just missing it. I haven't had a checkpoint yet, have I? Oh, good, good, good. That's that's a bit of a relief. Realized it just as it came available. Those little blisters are are nasty. Oh, all right. I guess I'll stop and <laughs> get those coins. Wouldn't want to waste uh, a a hard-earned buck. I'm gonna lure you over here so your coins stay <laughs> within an area that I can retrieve them. That seems significant, doesn't it? Am I supposed to have read anything into that? Like something I could venture up to? Not from this side, although that's where the open path is. Oh, I can't crouch to like pan the camera. It's uh, a, a, like a key feature that I'm just generally quite used to in games. Shit, that was not a good jump. I panicked. There was some panic all over, lots of unnecessary damage. Stupid, stupid. All right, that's how we're getting up there. Pathetic jump. Gonna need you to patrol on over. Slow and steady all of a sudden. <laughs> not great. I'm glad that that trap was present as I entered the screen and the game was like, hey, by the way, this is going to be important. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jump. I'm scared to move more than like a little bit at a time. All right, drop down. I need some way to heal or save or something. This is a very miserable amount of health to try and do anything with. What is the... Oh, I think the focal point that it's rotating around is in between the two platforms, which makes it quite tricky. <laughs> you stay back, beast. Man, did I skip a bunch of stuff? There was totally other things back there that I just didn't do. I, I just kind of committed to a path and then scared myself about dying way out far removed from everything. And so that just kind of... Oh, damn it. I don't have a lot left for health here. I'm, I'm guessing now all of a sudden I'm heading towards the end of the stage. And earlier, where, where the path kind of branched, would have been a secret? Oh, maybe the other way around? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm going for an artifact now? Well, I don't know what to do about that. It gave me nothing, to, no room to work with there, really. The second it bursts? All right, barely, barely. Late jump. Oh, jump and grab. Got it, got it. Hey, all right, great. I'm happy about this. You found the emblem of Ur. And this one, display enemy health. Pfft. Yes, please. That would be huge for the bosses and generally helpful otherwise, but the bosses, that's, ooh, it's a big one. It makes me kind of wonder, and I guess I'm gonna have my proof literally right now, but do I get uh, my ch a choice? You can totally equip both of them. There's probably an achievement for, like, beating the game without uh, using a single one of those. There are achievements in this game. Yes, yeah, there are. I know there are, because there was for, for clearing that stage. I guess I'll just stay on my ground and let that thing bot me. Why the heck not? Ooh. Crawly rat. That, for some reason, kind of has, like, a slug for a butt. It's like the world's worst earthworm gym villain. In a franchise that's already known for having weird, dumpy villains. Now we have Rat with a slug for a butt. That probably just sounds familiar because there's Princess Slug for a butt, right? That's all I'm thinking of? It's been a long time since I looked into anything Earthworm Jim. Come on. I wasn't quite clear of the path to do my jump. Oh, there is a secret there. You just have to attack it. I, I was just thinking to myself, like, if I were to stash a secret somewhere, that would be the spot. Ah! 
I legit didn't expect bombs to be something I had to worry about. <laughs> Shit, of course. <laughs> I just paused and waited, just took it. You gotta slide for that one. They're waiting for it. Oh, this little shimmy seems hard to deal with. It's got me stressed. Ah, <laughs> skipping that last platform. I basically had no choice but to go at exactly that speed. All right, I'm a pro. <laughs> Some people would assume I'm a great gamer because I bothered to make a gaming channel. Not the case. I'm just fascinated by games. I like playing them, I like showing them off. Don't consider myself a great gamer. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, man, I'm even further back than I thought I was. But... Wait, is this... Uh, okay, this isn't This isn't a separate thing. This is This is where I went. Nothing, nothing new or exciting here. Oh, dang. This is a very far setback. Ah, oh, bomb. Does that, that, that just happen sometimes? It's pretty sure that wasn't there before if I just somehow never thought to break it open. Oh, that was just foolish. Korg, how could you? You're never gonna save your people with brash actions like that. Ah, damn it, that one! It comes so quickly and I didn't quite have the space to jump. Ah, oh, yeah. It's just random, I guess. Sometimes they're bombs, sometimes they're fun, fun coins and treats. I'm gonna do a big drop this time. Woo! <laughs> well, that's just fun for the whole family. All right, there's a bit of a struggle to get back here. This stresses me out, but I at least know I can do it. And if I panic a little less, it's truly not that bad. All right. Good stuff. Back to the true challenge. The rats. The slug rats. I That was just purely impatience, the fact that I jumped up there when I did. I'm using both my heels on the hope that I have a, a bonfire coming up right away here. I'm gonna have to just kind of camp out and just attack. I guess I just wait this one out for him to come back. And get a roll in there. Don't use the rolls very often. God, still didn't work. <sighs> a relief. Apparently there's no reason whatsoever to save save your coins. So if anyone picks this up and gives it a whirl for themselves, just do it. <laughs> just spend all of that. I have nothing left to sell. No. <laughs> I think the second one was more expensive than the first one too. Uh, I'm really going to wish I bought out that guy's stock from the first part. Damn, son. Now I got to worry about this eyeball with lightning bolts. I don't know what to do about an attack like that. Just run through the door, man. Don't even... Like, what is this guy's hitbox? Like, what can I actually do about that? Do you restock? No, he doesn't. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, I hope that I can just duck and roll away from this chump. Oh, he totally doesn't get a hitbox or a, a health health bar the bosses were the main thing that 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 seemed like that that would help with that's terrible news I mean I guess I just what else what other strategy was I gonna have other than attack him a lot and aggressively you know <laughs> didn't have it didn't didn't have it uh, anything else in mind rolled right in that shit Oh, God damn it. Damn, 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 damn. I was trying to bust out another heal. I should have just used both of them immediately. <laughs> as soon as you get down to, like, a third health, half health, things become pretty dire, pretty risky. I'd like to, I'd like to kill this boy. That'd be, a, that'd be a fun, a fun place to leave off. 
<laughs> that's not how it's done. That's not gonna. That's not gonna count as a victory. <sighs> I got to be more willing to like flee, and really can't let myself get stuck in those corners. As soon as he pins you to the side, it's when he uses his little burst thing, and it's quite strong. Well, hopefully this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I got really lucky with that. They just spam attacks and happen to pull it out. All right, the the achievement for that one uh, is does not look like the rune the artifact that I found on stage two. There, uh, it was totally different than that. So that makes me think that I'm, I may have forgotten something there. Forgotten, missed. You you know what I'm saying. I just I just paused it for a second because I was curious uh, if there's anything on the Steam page. Oh, I did not <laughs> realize there was a wall there. Huh? How do I get below that? This game has has ten levels, ten bosses. What the heck? All of a sudden, I'm collecting letters like Donkey Kong Country. What's that all about? Oh, this that's kind of an interesting thing actually. Now that I have fought. The slide ability. Okay, so I, I didn't expect to start learning new abilities and stuff. That's cool. So that that uh, is promising that the levels are going to expand and have new mechanics and things to look at and uh, add a little bit more variety as you're playing through it. But I also like the idea that we just fought like a lightning-based boss and now there's a lightning-based enemy that uses a like a discharging attack in a very similar way to what that boss did. Oh, that's definitely on a timer. So we're seeing other other new ways that the levels are getting mixed up and everything. So I'm am a fan of that. I just whatever. <laughs> I just ran straight at it. But I, I think there's like a cool thematic tie-in there. That I'm a fan of. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Good. You could you could dash twice. <laughs> Get a double dash going on there, Mario Kart style. But that, that's about what I think I, I'm prepared to show off of, of Primal Light for today. Apparently I'm going to end uh, on a little witch battle and uh, a slug boy. I guess I might as well do this till I either die or win. This will be a, a fun, exciting showdown. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, look at that. Dashed into, dashed into battle there. It was a risky move, but it paid off. Dash past your defenses. That seems like a really fun way to to do battle. <laughs> I also took a lot of a lot of ridiculous damage. Oh, sick! Find one more of these as we wrap things up. The anonymous charm, and this one temporarily increases strength after killing an enemy. That's really cool too. I like that you're beefing yourself up with that stuff as well as earning new abilities. At no point, at no point did this game. Oh, you can only have two at a time. That's important. That's important to learn. All right, I would I would forego seeing health bars then. That's like fun to have, but only if you're allowed to stack everything. I never saw anything uh, referring to this game as being a Metroidvania, but it absolutely has those uh, elements. Certain ones like leveling up and, and the new abilities, not leveling up, but mostly the new abilities and uh, equipment. So it's kind of peculiar to me that they never referred to it in that way. This is tricky. The timing of this needs to be so precise and I'm just really failing at it. Oh. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm getting a little caught up in it. I guess I'm having, I guess that's a good sign. I guess that means I'm having fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Primal Light out now. Link in the description if you want to check it out for yourselves. Oh. Following that link also helps me out. Even if you just go check it out and put it, put it on your wish list or something. Give it a give it a glimpse. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.